She caught me. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to another video <laughs> where Carl's Garage Rising by Shannon and Content. And today, as you see, yes, we are gonna teach you how to check the battery on your car, doesn't matter the car, with this buddy right here. This is called the multimeter. You can use this thing really for anything. Uh, I bought it for the house, but you can really use it to test the battery in your car. So let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay guys, welcome back, welcome back. As you've seen, uh, it's not smart, please don't do that. <laughs> please don't listen to me. Do not put this on your tongue, even if it's on or off. There's a battery inside, and you don't wanna do this. So I'm actually gonna put this down for a second. But I just want to say welcome back to another video with Carl's Garage brought to you by Shredded Content. And today, yes, I'm gonna show you how to use that device right there to test your battery. Before I do that though, please, if you could, support the channel by purchasing some merch. Now, as you see, I'm wearing the same merch that I'm wearing in my last video where I buffed and restored the headlights on my wife's Toyota Corolla. Make sure you go check that video out. The reason why I'm wearing the same hoodie, it's not a different day, it's the same day. I just decided to just film so many intros and outros in one day and then edit everything and chop it up later so that I can afford more hoodies. <laughs> you guys can support the channel by purchasing a hoodie or a t-shirt or anything from the Flash Custom Designs website. If you can purchase something from Mr. Big B, he's a big YouTuber, Big B TV, he'd really appreciate it. That would benefit us because we make everything in-house. Flash Custom Designs and our apparel and our apparel business is our main source of income outside of YouTube. So you can help us out by doing that. You can also help us out by subscribing to my wife's channel. She's trying to get to a thousand subscribers. Make sure you guys go do that. Go subscribe right now. Go right now. Okay. All right, guys. So yeah, so you can use this little buddy right here and pick these things up from anywhere. I'll put it in the link in the description below. They're pretty cheap. I think a friend of mine gave me this one, but yeah, you can use this right here to test your battery and test your alternator. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you that right now. Okay guys, so this right here, this is the battery. As you notice, my terminals are clean, so make sure you always leave, or keep your terminals clean um, at all times. That'll definitely help with the life of the battery. Here's my multimeter. I'll leave a link in the description to this specific multimeter that you can use to test your battery, as well as a lot of other things. This is from my house, but it can test my battery and alternator. You wanna turn it to 20 volts. I think that's the right term, 20 volts. I know there's a 20 on the other side, that's for ohms, so you wanna put it on 20 volts. This might look a little bit different on yours. You see there's a black V at the top, but just put it on 20 volts on this side. As long as you're looking at like the number like 12 and 13, whenever you put it on there, then you know that you have the right side. So you wanna go ahead and put the negative plug or connector on the negative side and the red one on the positive side. Make sure you turn on your multimeter first, it's gonna zero out. Yep, and as soon as you touch the positive and the negative connected, you will see I'm at, I know there's a negative sign, but it's 12 volts, 12.6 for this. So that's, that's a pretty good battery. It should be right around 12.8, but this battery is a little over a year old. It's at 12.6, so that's really good. So we wanna make sure that your battery at the very start is right around 12.6, 12.8. I think 12.5 is getting kind of low, but as long as it doesn't drop whenever you start the car below 10 volts, because that's the indicator that you have a bad battery. So right now we're about to actually test it. You want to make sure you have somebody else in the car to test it so that you can stay on the outside and look at the numbers and they can go inside. So as you see right here, we have it hooked back up. It's at 12.64, pretty solid. And my wife is actually going to start the car. As you see, it drops down to 11, but then the alternator kicks back on and it's gonna go right back up. See? And that's about running voltage of what the car should run, should run at. And then she's gonna turn the car off and it's just gonna drop back down. And it should drop back down and stay. If it drops back down and continues to go lower, 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 then you know that you have a bad battery. That's an indication. So as you see, 12.6, perfect. This battery is good. The alternator is good because we've seen it go back up. 
So yeah, it's fine, it dropped right there, but we're gonna try to test it again. You see, US drops to 11, and then goes right back up because the alternator kicks in. And see, she shut the car off and it dropped down to 12.3, but it's going back up. I actually moved it right there, but it's gonna go right back up. So that's how you test your battery and alternator to make sure that they're actually working. It's a super simple test. It doesn't take anything crazy. Not a huge machine like you see at AutoZone or anything like that. So that's how you test it. Put it on the negative, put the positive on the positive, and there you go, you're all set. Okay, as you guys saw, you can use the multimeter to test your battery and your alternator. My wife helped me out because you probably will need at least two people. You want somebody to start the car while you look at the gauge to see if it drops below right around 10 volts. If it drops below 10 volts, you know that you need a new battery. Hopefully this video has helped you out and you can use it in your everyday life. So this way you don't waste money on an alternator, a battery, or a starter, because Lord knows we thought we needed all three. All right, guys, thank you for tuning into this video. Make sure you check out my next video, which is on the new Kia Recall. Yes, 2021 Kia Soul in the stiletto, stiletto, whatever the name of it is, has about 140,000 cars that are going to be recalled due to oil rings on the piston. It's insane, Kia just doesn't stop. At least they're gonna replace the engine starting June 1st. So make sure you guys definitely check out that video once I release it. I'll be releasing it very, very, very soon. And I will be in a different hoodie. All right, guys, you know my slogan. I'm gonna go get something to eat. Be basic. Peace. Oh yeah. Don't do this. Don't put this on your don't put this on your tongue. All right? Peace.